over here at Toyo Itari in Manila and it's a special evening that is actually together with Lokavo from Bali. It's really excited. And I'm sure we'll have some fantastic food tonight. Have a look around. which is a local herb so you have here that the herbs the slightly poached oyster and then a little bit of lime oh, I love oysters I think the presentation as well is absolutely beautiful It's another super exciting one. It is actually called, I need to now think again because it's all these names. It's Kohol. Kohol is, as the French say it so nicely, an escargot or a snail. And it is served on braised taro leaves. They're braised with coconut. And then on top there is some deep fried fern. So, oh, nice. We have the snails down here. Let's go take a little bit of everything. Excuse my fingers, but the whole thing is a bit red on my chest. It's very grubby straw. It's a bit like eating straw with snails in it. Very tasty straw. Mm, very nice. The 
So the next course is a curried rice with a fried capos, but as in Bali they don't have capos, so they took a plant that's called chenjo and they've deep fried that and then they put as well a little bit of the, um, it's like rice crispies, puffed rice on it and everywhere there's a little bit of crab meat. So let's try it. The best is, oh yeah, there's a lot of crab meat in it. Let's just try to get a bit of everything. Okay, now this course is called uh, the vegetable garden and it's actually from a Filipino song which is called Bahai Kubo and in this song there are 18 vegetables mentioned and this dish actually has all these 18 vegetables in it with different cooking methods from dehydrating, grilling, sauteing. So the soil that is on top of everything is actually grilled, roasted eggplant and then dehydrated and it's pulverized with um, peanuts. So the best is they say we have to mix it a little bit. Ah, there's a whole lot of things on the bottom here. There's some sweetness in it, the peanut comes out, some crispiness, oh this is a beautiful dish, absolutely nice. Oh. the slightly grilled mackerel it's a local mackerel and what I like is it's it's actually now mixed with a guava and kamias gel now the kamias is a very sour food here in the Philippines and it's nice we can actually see it here this here is one of the dried um, fruits just cut very thinly and as well what you see on top of the mackerel here is a whole lot of local flowers which have been dried and put on so basically what they say is we should cut the piece <laughs> So tender the fish, it's like, like a foam and you can smell a bit smokiness, taste the smokiness in it, the flowers. The sauce is not too sour, the guava comes out nicely, lovely combination. I 
is much more needed. The chef already explained. It looks absolutely amazing. So just take a little bit of everything. Then the local bean. Oh yeah. This is very nice. Very tender the chicken. Beautiful. The sauce, the sambal comes through a little bit. Give some creaminess, crispiness from the, the, the biscuit. The mushrooms. Oh, very nice. This is a beautiful, harmonious dish. Just having the mushroom now. Okay, now our desserts are starting. The meal was already fabulous. Now the first dessert is a hibiscus and watermelon something with nasturtiums and lime. This something, it's multi-layered. Actually, have a look. It's, it's, it's like layers here and then in between. Okay, so our next dessert is a white chocolate and corn canache with a coconut sorbet and a corn husk milk and with that we can put our own granola in. And of course we need to taste. Taste of sweet corn, amazing. The sorbet, completely dairy free mm. and light, beautiful. And the corn and chocolate canache. the sweets so we have here the chocolate canache and instead of salt they used a little bit of fish sauce so that will be really interesting to taste the white chocolate has a little bit jam on the bottom so we will taste that a bit later and then we have here from Toyo Italy as well the cassava cake and from Lokavor the last dessert all I actually remember is that there's some whipped cheese on top of it. So let me just taste this one. And oh, it's soft and gooey. And... Mm. That's nice. You missed something. This is a beautiful evening. Great wine, great cocktails, amazing food. The chefs in the kitchen busy. And... Absolutely amazing. So happy to be here. It was a great evening. I'm not happy to stop.
Thank you.